Hello, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo. Welcome to all fans of tactical bombing on the Eastern Front in World War II. As we get deep into that aspect of the war, here I've got the Air War Part 2 ready to go. And when I say ready to go, I haven't done it yet. So we're going to do it together, and we're going to look around. Now, I was down looking around at Luft. Flotta 4, but we're going to move up and deal with Luftflotta 2 this time around. Uh, before we do that, usually this segment will appear at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Today, War in the Pacific took a little longer than I was expecting. Uh, I resolved the turn a little late, uh, let's be honest, and it just went a little over. And then I figured out that uh, Matrix Slytherin had posted an update to this game. It's 1.0.007, I believe, uh, that's now available that has an installer. And so I have not been doing the one that you have to move, to move into the file yourself. I was waiting for an installer version. We had that. Or I thought I kept trying to do it, but it wouldn't create a handle for me. And so I don't know if anybody else has had that problem, uh, but I'll go back and do that later. Uh, as of right now, we do not have the update. It's still 1.00.00. That's what I'm playing. The original beta version. Uh, evidently, you know, they keep finding little things, little bugs, uh, a crash problem here or something there that's going a little funky. So they keep putting out these little updates and now they've done one that's, you know, that you can actually update from the game menu. Uh, so I'll go back and do that tonight. Uh, okay, where were we? Well, we had set up all kinds of bombing up here in the north through Luflata 1. Uh, we're going after, you know, pretty much every base that's got anything with airplanes on it, uh, almost up to Piskov. And then, now, one thing that I did go back and look at last time, and so let's put them back out on the map where we're actually hitting here. Um, and I have not done these down here, uh, Luftflotte 2. Uh, these are those stock ones that the game has in. We're going to go delete those and do our own. But uh, one thing I was looking at last time is we've got this big fighter base here. It's got 88 fighters on it. I'm tempted to run a mission out there. The problem is, is of course, fighters from back here can come get us if we do that. And so I'm, I've gone back and forth. There's 25, 24 fighters back here. There are 53 fighters there, bombers, and I think Smolensk has some fighters, some bombers. This is all bombers, okay? And then, um, that's bombers. This is the one I'm worried about. It's got 88 fighters just sitting here. Now, what is down here? We've got fighters. Uh, Luftflotte 2 will send after that. We maybe even send Luftflotte 2 after that one, but I think actually Luftflotte 1 is a little closer to it. So just a decision we've got to make. Those are bombers, and those are bombers. Okay, so we've got some fighters here. Now, this is definitely Luftflotte 2. Uh, Luftflotte 1, I think we will do a mission to get up there and try to take them out. We'll see what happens. That may cause too many losses on our side, but if we can hit the airfield and take out 41 fighters, let's do it. Uh, these are 59 bombers. Now let's look back here and make sure we've got one set up for them. I didn't think we did. So let's get the fighters on very high priority, and then let's go hit these bombers and maybe even these bombers on just regular uh, just high priority, right? Uh, okay, and let's get going because we got a lot to do this turn. But we'll go back up into the directives for Luftflotte 1. And we see all of our ground attacks here. We will do one more and we'll go left click out here. The, that's the fighter base. Now, we do get escorts a long ways out here. It is on day one. That's when we're going to run this. We'll see. This is a little riskier. I may rethink it before we actually run the turn, uh, but we're going to do it for now. Very high. That all looks good. We'll confirm that. Um, and now we're going to do one more, or two more, actually. 
ground attacks and we're, we're just going to put these on high now this is going to take up a lot of air miles i do realize that but i think because we can only heat hit each hex twice we've got a lot of air miles to burn no pun intended so we'll do that we'll take it down to high we'll do airfield no interdict and we'll confirm that one and then we'll do one more in the north and then i think we'll be done with the north we're going to hit that uh that will only be a day one attack and then we have other ground attacks that happen later but they're going to be more uh your tactical kind of stuff that's up here interdiction uh any kind of cleanup that we have on close air bases and we'll have escorts out with those or we should let's put it that way uh confirm yes let's do it all right now then let's get about Luftflotte 2 and for that we'll click off of here all right we'll click back on the map and Luftflotte 2 is up in yellow in yellow um all right Kalo yeah I know uh hey Ole how's it going or is it Ole Anybody around here for very long knows that my pronunciation of anything that's just not straight up Midwestern American is uh, so can be lacking, can be lacking at times. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, Ole star started the War in the East 2 Facebook page. If you guys are, you know, on Facebook like the rest of the world, I guess, uh, go buy that page, sign up, like it. Uh, it's a good page. A lot of people ask great questions. Uh, there's a lot of people around there that know what the heck they're talking about. Uh, sometimes I even do. You never know. So uh, go check out his Facebook page. I think you set that up, right? You're one of the more active members. Uh, but yeah, thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Oh, hey, that reminds me. Yeah, <laughs> well, I was close, wasn't I, with the pronunciation? Just humor me. Say I was. Say I was. Uh, that reminds me, a big uh, thank you to Slytherin Matrix, who evidently featured us on uh, their Facebook page today. They said if you want to know, you know, or if you are curious about this game, intrigued by it, and wanted a good place to start to come by our basic tutorials. And I say ours because we're a community. Uh, we're building that on Discord, YouTube, Twitch, wherever. Uh, a lot of people that love these games, these Grig Grigsby games, and other great strategy games will eventually play other ones. Believe me. Believe me. Uh, I've been saying that for, what, uh, almost 20 years when it comes to war in the Pacific. I'll be playing other games uh, eventually. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much to Slytherin Matrix. Again, I have no like monetary affiliation with them or whatever. They send me games in advance now. Uh, but other than that, you know, I mean, I'll always tell you guys the truth if they put something out that's crap, but I am very, just as a Wargamer fan, this has nothing to do with my page, as a Wargamer fan, I'm very appreciative of them keeping the genre and the hobby alive uh, and giving a lot of publicity to smaller developers. Uh, for instance, the man that made Shadow Empire uh, has also made the Decisive Campaigns. He, before that, made Advanced Tactics Gold. Um, he's a one-man band, you know, and he is making amazing games. And I think it would be very hard for him to get them out there to the masses without Slither and Matrix. So I'm always very appreciative of them uh, just as a company and what they've been able to do to, to allow us to further our hobby. That being said, if they put something out that's crap, I'll tell you. Okay, so, you know, let's keep that straight. Uh, right, now let's go look for fighter units that are fighter units, fighter squadrons that are sitting on airfields. We've got a big old nest of them right there, just to the west of the Murkies. Uh, what do we have here? 126 fighters and 117 fighters. Well, we'll be hitting the snot out of that. Uh, we'll also do some tactical bombing on the further days to make sure they get cleaned up. But let's see what we've got out here. Well, we've got a ZG group. What is a ZG group? Let's go find out. They're fighter bombers that are actually running as bombers. Okay, and so when you see ZG, uh, you know that generally those are bombers. But these are fighter bombers that have been trained as bombers. 
Uh, they're all at this one base here, Suwalki, and Suwalki is at 112%, so we're not going to be moving much there. What's an STG-1? Well, let's go check it out. These are bombers, but these, well, these again, well, the Stobs are fighter bombers, but I think these others are something a little different, and they are. These are the JU-87BR tactical bombers, better known as the Stukas, right? And if you ever watch a World War II documentary, you'll, hit, you'll recognize that familiar whine as they dive, right? Those are dive bombers, um, you know, down to the ground um, that always, uh, they always jack the volume up to 10 in those documentaries just because it sounds kind of neat as you hear the engine approaching the ground. Didn't sound too good to the Soviets, I don't think. Um, okay, so we've got them out here. So these STG-1s we know are those bombers, tactical bombers. As a matter of fact, let's go back up here because I thought we had those maybe... Nope, these are fighter bombers. These are the 110E2s, and these are the 110E2s. Okay, um, so now we know these STG units are tactical bombers, dive bombers. Uh, they're usually used against you know, AFVs or tanks uh, for this first round. It doesn't matter. We're sending every bomber we've got out there to hit whatever we can. So that's there. Then we've got a KG group, which is a straight up bomber group. So the ZG, I think, are the fighter bombers that turn bombers. Um, these are level bombers, the KG groups. We know those are bombers, right? Uh, we'll look at this one. That's a level bomber, the DO-17Z. one or 17Z. And then I think, okay, we've got another level bomber there. And finally, yep, all level bombers. Okay, so I'm just trying to get a sense of what we have right up here. Then we have eight Flieger Corps. Now these should all really be attached to eight Flieger Corps. Let's just make sure they are from a command perspective. Eight Flieger Corps, eight Flieger Corps. Okay, then we have the fighter group. Uh, for eight Flieger Corps. Looks like we've got 31 planes, 35, 36, and then another 37. So we've got 73 fighters up here in the north in JG-27. They are also directly uh, attached to eight Flieger Corps. And then we have more of these dive bombers here. Well, yep, that's tactical bomber, dive bomber. Um, okay. And these are, that's all attached to eight Flieger Corps as well. So what are we going to do here? We're going to make eight Flieger Corps uh, go to flexible because Ninth Army isn't going to be going that far. And we are going to follow Ninth Army with the eight Flieger Corps. All right. So dive bombers. Uh, we've got fighters. We've got regular bombers. We've got fighter bombers. Uh, we got a little bit of everything up there. Then we've got our transport group, okay, and then we've got more fighters here in the center. Now, question why they're over here in Soviet territory. Come on, boys, we haven't started the invasion yet. Uh, we got to move them back to the west. No. Um, good. Kalo, you're always good with this kind of stuff. Uh, most highly decorated Luftwaffe pilot was, the ace was Ernst Rudel, who flew a Stuka. Yeah, I bet he did. They really messed up Soviet armor, especially early in the war. Um, oh, is that right? Oh, they had a built-in siren, huh, just to scare people. Uh, <laughs> now, that's that's some real psychological warfare. Uh, we've got Koloff 3 Panzer Group here that we will set to follow 3 Panzer Group eventually. We'll get around to that. We've got their uh, fighters here. Okay, we got 30, 26. Now we've got drop tanks on all of these, or we should. When we look at the loadout here, you can see the drop tank. How did we do that? Well, when you set it on one uh, air group of them, you can elect to set them on all of them throughout the Axis Air Forces. And so we did that. And let's get back to that. Hold on. We've got a lot of planes to deal with here gents um let's just make sure we've got that as our loadout because we really need that extra uh range okay now this does not so these are the 109 e7s okay 
Well, let's do that then. Let's give them the loadout of the drop tank. And let's say all 109E7s in the Axis Air Force get equipped with load uh, with that loadout with the drop tanks. All right, fantastic. Um, let's just, as a matter of fact, while we're at it, then. Well, we didn't have we didn't have any fighters up here. These are fighter bombers, so we've got these JG 27s. We just did them. Let's make sure that that's the plane that most of them are flying in anyway. The 109E sevens. I could just do it from here. They've got a 109F2. Let's look at that. Yeah, it's already got that on here. That's what we have in the north. Okay. Uh, let's look out here at JG-53, or YG-53, I've been told. J means Y in both German and Slavic. Uh, but we're going to keep calling them JGs because I just am. Uh, because I don't want to think about it that much. Um, okay, those all look good. We've got the transport group. We're not going to move them. What air base are they sitting at? Why are they shown? Okay, they're down here. They're at Warsaw, so that's fine. I don't. I I would rather have something that we're actually going to use down here for the first turn, but it's not the end of the world. And then they have some up here at Swalky, so they're a little bit spread out. Uh, but I don't think here in the center we're going to have to move too much. Uh, I think you know eight Flieger Corps is set. It's ready to go. It's right on the front lines, ready to go. Now here are our call offs uh, right in the middle along with the transport group. Uh, call off center, what does it have? It's got strat recon, and this is probably what you are you would expect, right? It's going to have, I think, a lot of strat recon. Um, and it's easy to keep track of because it will be these, uh, you know, call off north, call off center. They seem to be the strat recon groups. And then the ones that are named directly after groups or armies then are the ones that have the tactical recon and these are all strat recon i'm just checking because if there's one that's not i want to put it in a tactical recon group uh, but these are all strat recons okay so that's the ju 88 d2 good to know um right all right uh so we've got eight flieger course set are these guys directly attached to luftflotte 2 they are okay let's set Ah, shoot. I wish I would have said it before I did this. See, you got to you gotta pay attention. Uh, let's set this to flexible. Let's have Luftflotte 2 follow 4th Panzer Group. Nope, not 4th. We don't want to go to the north. Let's have them follow 3rd Panzer Group. All right. That's because it has the vast majority of the recon aircraft directly attached to it. And now we'll go into one Flieger Corps. It's still at flexible, but now we'll set that to Ninth Army, and that works for me. Um, so we have Call Off Center following Third Panzer. We've got Call Off Four following Third Panzer, but we actually want that to follow the Fourth Army. Okay, I think that's fine. We don't need them to advance that much. Uh, what we will do here, Call Off Nine. We'll follow the Ninth Army. Imagine that. All right. So we'll do that. Um, I don't have any more recon up here. Here we've got Call of Three Panzer Group. Now that's interesting. We will have that advance. Okay. And we're going to have that following Third Panzer Group. That makes sense. So we'll just take care of all of these. Call of Two will follow Second Panzer Group. Uh, let's see, where's second Panzer Group? There it is. And we'll have them on advance. All right. Oh, by the way, we've got our asset priority at two, our supply priority at four. I actually think we'll bump that down to two on supply priority. Asset priority is fine. Um, call of two, we did that. Call of three, we did that. We've got KGs back here that are a little too far back for my liking. Uh, what's an SKG? Have we run into an SKG yet? I don't believe we have. Let's see what kind of aircraft they're flying out here. They've got fighter bombers that are considered bombers. Okay. That At least in that air group. Uh, same thing here. Okay. These are the 110E2s. 
okay, those are all fighter bombers that are considered bombers. So SKG, we've got that. We know these are the dive bombers, the STGs. SKG, that's the first time we've run into it. So SKG and ZG are both fighter bombers that are running as bombers. Um, now then, we've got regular bombing units here that are a little far back. And what I want to do is let's take these uh, units off and let's see what we've got here. Okay, this is <laughs> Sir, Z Sir Zwicka. Did I get that right? Um, that is at 57%. Okay, we've got some airfields that have some capacity here. So we're going to go ahead and put this back on. There we go. And we're going to move this KG. I'll just do, well, I'll do control and draw. And we're going to try to get it up here a little closer to the front. All right, we'll release that. Okay, it wants to go to those two. That's fine by me. And we'll immediately transfer those. All right, now they're up there. And we see 89% and 100%. All right, uh, KG3. Now, again, we don't have any recon up here that I, that I think we need to move. We just don't have any recon that needs to move back. I mean, call off three is back here, call off two. I guess I could fly call off two kind of back this way, maybe to Grajic. Um, okay, why don't we do that actually? Back to these two, because we don't need them to have, you know, they've got bigger range, so we'll release that. They're gonna be coming from all over. Wow, okay. Um, and we'll do an immediate transfer with them. And we'll get the call left back here. Makes sense to me. Oh, we have call left six here, but this is part of Luftflotte four. So this is in the south, uh, but it's up here getting in my way. Uh, KG 53, I do want to get that a little closer to the front. So we'll say pick where you want to go. Not there, but how about out of these four bases? All right, well, it's going to those same places, or a lot of them. Uh, we'll do immediate transfer. We may be overstacking these a little bit. And we see here Radzen Podlaski is at 93%. Zerwicka is at 111. Okay, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. We'll take that. It's worth moving them up here just a little bit. All right, now we can start setting our air directives. Before we do that, I should look down. When I get doing this, I get a tunnel vision. Um, yep, Ole, you got to be careful using those drop tanks only. That's for sure. Uh, we're going to do it on turn one. Now, I would not recommend doing it really much after that. Uh, really, my idea with the air war as you move forward as the Axis is truly do tactical bombing. Um, I do almost no strategic bombing. And so when I say tactical, I'm saying within a hundred kilometers, maybe even not that far back of the front. So like really within 70 to 80 kilometers. And if you have your fighter stationed properly, they should be able to escort that even without drop tanks. Now, turn one is a little, um, different, right? Because we're trying to get a lot further back back here to get air bases we would never during just the normal course of play ever try to get to and so anyway let's set up these directives cheers i gotta have a little vino um that always makes uh, the air war more interesting let's set up our directives all right look at all the ones we have in the luftflotte one now uh, Luftflotte 2 under Kesselring, who is our best air commander. We talked about this last time, right? Uh, Keller is a 6 in the air, 8 admin. And then Kesselring is actually an 8 in the air and a 7 admin. So, I mean, he's definitely your best. Uh, actually, Lehrer doesn't, you know, you never really hear about him. You hear about Kesselring all the time. Uh, but he's got a 7 and 7. So, I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right, so Luftflotte 2, we are going to get rid of all of your air directives. Um, that one I actually don't hate, but I don't want to run it on day one. Um, ground support. Oh, nope. 
That's the one we're going to keep, right? I said we're going to play this fair. We're going to keep Army Group Center ground support on. Uh, I think you should always have that. Just like in the North, our very first directive was ground support of Army Group North. Here in the center, we'll have ground support of Army Group Center. We're showing 12 AOGs. I'm surprised they just don't have the entire, you know, both eight Flieger Corps and two Flieger Corps do that. Speaking of which, two Flieger Corps. Um, let's get out of the directives really fast because I did not set this up. It's after third panzer group. I actually want this to go after fourth army. Um, is that true? Well, I'm going to have it on flexible for the first turn. They're not able to get out here to like Minsk or something, right? They're not going to be able to really base out there after turn one. I mean, you may take Minsk, but you can wait until turn two to get them out there so it's not that big of a deal and i'll just do this have them at fourth army i've got the other flieger corps eight flieger corps or the eighth flieger corps uh following ninth army i think that works i think that makes sense and it would be how you would do it if we look at our stacking problems it's all at zerwicka and it's just barely so i think we got this set up just right um they're all on flexible okay let's get back into the directives then and oh my gosh, Lou Flata too has no orders. All right, let's go to ground attack. Oh, did I just do that? Ah, uh, don't do that. I just um, unfortunately cleared out. No, let's clear out of that. Sorry, I'll get I'll get moving here. Ground support, army group center. That's what we want. Okay, and I will confirm that. Now it's going to say all of Luftflotte 2 now instead of the 15 AOGs. I think that's fine. Now we'll now we'll get down here. The one rule I told you: never click on it when you're when this is still bolded. All right, now we're down to the second one. Let's switch this over to ground attack, and let's get. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, these. This is the first base we want to hit. Gosh darn it. Am I losing my mind? Here we go. All right. Now this is the first base we want to hit with a ground attack. Let's do it. Uh, we're going to do airfield, interdict, day one. And we'll do that on very high. And we'll confirm that. Okay. There's one. Now we're going to do a new ground attack on this base. That will be airfield, very high, day one. That all looks good to me. We'll confirm that one. Okay. Now then, let's get to the next ground attack. Let's just, if they're not fighters, if they're, this is fighters as well. Okay, so we're going to hit that. Airfield, we'll keep it on very high. And we'll just do that on day one. Right, and we'll confirm that one. Okay, so we've got these three right here. Now we've already hit Conus and Vilnius with Army Group North or Luftflotte One. I'm curious, actually, can we go back? Even though you can only hit these hexes, oh, it, it would allow us to do that. Would it, though? I wonder if it would run the missions, because you can only hit an independent hex once. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to delete out of that one. I, I'm not going to hit them twice, because I think those might be wasted. Now, you may say they're not really wasted in some respects, right? Because if it can't run the mission, you're not burning the air miles, which is true. Okay. We are going to do <laughs> We are going to hit him twice. Hit him. Now we're going to hit him four times total. Maybe on day one. We shall see. Confirm that one. And then we'll also get into Vilnius, where I believe these are just bombers. Um, we'll hit that. Whoops. Got to get back in the, the swing of it here. Okay. Airfield. Uh, day one. This will just be high priority 
uh, because, of course, these are just bombers. So we're going to hit that. Okay, no ground attack. We've already done these three. What do we have up here? We'll remember uh, Lita was the last one we did to the east. We've got 45 fighters there. I wonder how good of information the Germans actually had. Like, did they know there were really 45 fighters on the ground there? Or at least their spies had told them that in some way? Um, I don't know. I just don't know. Fighters, these are bombers, but we're still going to hit them, of course. Do that, but we're going to click this down to high. All right, so that's day one. Confirm. Got to get in the swing of this. There we go. So there's that one. What do we have here? We have bombers here. All right. Look like 51 bombers there. So we're going to hit that airfield. Click it down to day one. Uh, that's just going to be high since they're just bombers. Just bombers. That's how you rack up your score, right? Um, okay, so we've hit those. Have I hit this one yet? I don't think so. I don't think we did. Um, this is 51 fighters. Okay, so let's get down to the next directive. 51 fighters. So we're going to leave this on very high. And we'll confirm that. All right. Now then, this was the one that had 51 bombers. Yep. Okay, just making sure. We have something up here. Got a lot of aircraft here at Ballastock. Uh, that is 177 fighters. That works for me. We'll go right there. I wish I could just say, I want that to be your very first attack of the entire war. Uh, we'll do that. Day one. Yes. Confirm. If you guys see that I miss one, just let me know in the comments. We'll go back and get it. Um. This is 118 fighters, all right, at Zambrao. We will do airfield, we'll get down to one day, keep it very high, and we'll confirm that one. Now that, man, we may run out, we may get all the way to 34 this time. So it was Zambrao, what do we have here? We've got 73 fighters, man, oh man. Okay, uh, airfield, you get the drill. You know how I'm doing this now. There we go. Confirm that. Move on to the next ground attack. Actually, let's get those off of here so we can see a little better. What is this? 42 bombers. Okay. That all works, but we want it to go down to high. Okay. All right, now we go down to the next ground attack. And I'll look at the comments here in a minute. If you guys saw anything that I missed, just let me know. Uh, airfield, there we go, very high, day one. Looks good. Okay, what's out here? I guess I should have looked. Hold on. That is 43 bombers. Okay. Ground attack. We're almost a long ways down the road of day one here. Uh, interdicts. This will just be high. And we'll confirm that one. All right. So I know that we got all of these. I'm almost certain, but let's go back and look. Whoops, let's get off of ground attack so we can see things on the map. There we go. Okay, so we got a ground attack, ground attack. That all looks fine. There should be a big mass of them there. Yep. Uh, Luftflotte 2 is hitting here and here. That all looks good. And then we'll have what's left. We've got this one here. Uh, we could potentially hit this one here. That's 38 bombers, not a big deal. Gomel seems so far away, but that's got 48 fighters. 
uh, we may go hit Gomel. I mean, we've got the we've got the range to do it. I think on day one, if we really want to, uh, 51 bombers there, 41 bombers there. Okay, so those are just sitting ducks. Uh, these are all auxiliary cra cra craft. Uh, what's at Minsk? That is auxiliary craft. That's really surprising to me. Uh, if we wanted to get crazy and get back to Mogilev, what do we got there? We've got 43 fighters and 41 bombers. Well, we might want to. Um, 87 bombers there. We may go hit that or try to. And we got, it's these 44 fighters. We got to definitely make sure that we get. All right, let me go look at the comments and have you guys yell at me about something. <sighs> Barry, what's going on? Um, Kalo is saying, why not hit them multiple times on an airfield? And Barry's got that right. You can only uh, hit one, uh, a single hex. You can only hit twice in a turn. I think that's to stay halfway historical, so you don't hit the same airbase like seven days in a row, you know, five different times. That just didn't happen, right? Um, and I think Barry's got the rest of that right, which is, so I'm doing the individuals out to each airfield, uh, the fighter airfields, I'm doing at a very high priority. The bombers at just a high priority. So I want to hit the fighters first. I'm running two missions to every single hex. Then I'll go back uh, and do tactical ground attack um, that takes in interdiction units and a little bit of airfield cleanup. But that will actually be very close to the front lines to make sure they have escort. Uh, just in case some fighters stay alive, I don't want to be running just unescorted bombing missions out in the middle of nowhere after day one. Uh, for one thing, I don't think it's very wise. For another thing, I don't think it's very realistic. And so, you know, look, it's a game, you know, ultimately. And so being realistic doesn't always have to be the number one priority. Uh, but by the same token, I'm not going to run unescorted bombing missions to like Smolensk uh on day six of the war or something that that just seems a little silly i'm already pushing it a little bit by running them out to the dnieper let's be honest but uh you know I, i'm trying to i'm trying to keep it halfway reasonable okay so we've we've hit all here we've hit all these um it's these back here we got to deal with these three four okay Let's do it. All right. Now, I think we said these are utility craft, right? And that's true. So we'll even knock those down another level. Uh, airfield, very high, all the way down to normal. As if that sounds like, you know, oh gosh, it's hardly any. Well, it's going to run the same two missions, assuming the mission runs at all. So there's that. Uh, what do we have here? 41 bombers. Okay. So we're definitely going to hit that. Hit that there. Get it on day one. Get it on airfield. Crank it down to... Crank it down to high. There we go. Okay. Then what's next? How about Brobruisk? That is 51 bombers. Get off that airfield. Again, bombers are just high. This is going to be a lot of fun when we run this turn, isn't it? I feel like it is. Uh, is this where I just was? I think so. Was it? Maybe. Um, these are 38 bombers. Okay. We can always look at the uh, map display here in a minute just to make sure I got them all. So we're going to go airfield off there. Boom, boom, boom. All right, that all looks good. Now then, I know there were 44 fighters out here. Where were they? Well, this is 44 bombers. We're going to go look for them. Okay, confirm that. Uh, let's go back to the map. Get off of air directives. 
Okay. So now then, let's get uh, let's get the actual units them like the game unit, the ground units off of here too. Now we can really see. Whoa! I should have done that a long time ago. Now we can really see. Um, and while we're at it, let's go down to the directive screen for Luftflotte Four and just get rid of these. I don't I don't want to see their boxes even in my peripheral. I'm running bombing missions, boys. Uh, okay, uh, that's out of here. What do I have? To, well, we'll get down to the Hungarians and Romanians soon enough. All right, uh, so we're hitting these airfields. We'll see if we see any green ones. Oh, Minsk. I should probably hit Minsk, although it's just got utility, I believe. And it does. Just 20 utility. This is the one that had 44 fighters, right? Yep, okay. Uh, perfect. I like this screen. That really helps. Uh, we'll go down here. We'll do a new ground attack. Right. Now if I can find it, I'm like, uh, where was it? I think it's not Gomel. I think it's this one? Nope. I think it's this one? It was up by Mint somewhere. Maybe it was this one. No. Can he find 44 fighters? There they are. All right. Uh, no interdicts. Airfield. Very high because they are fighters. Excelente. Now let's go to Minsk. Hey, will one of you guys learn how to play the Soviets and we can play on the channel maybe? If one of you guys get really good at it, I'll play you on the channel. Or maybe I'll play the Soviets and you get really good at the Axis. That could be fun. Maybe more fun, right? If I play the Soviets and you're just absolutely running over me early on, um, maybe we'll do that. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Okay, so now I think we've got all of them up here that... Now, we are hitting this, but with Luftflotte 1, because it's got 88 fighters, Mogilev has 43 fighters. You know what? Let's throw caution to the wind. We may be upping our losses here i mean we probably are i say probably we're definitely gonna up our losses doing this um but i mean that's an 80 aircraft sometimes you got to roll the dice right you're in vegas let's play you're gonna invade the soviet union you don't uh sit around worried about a few stuka aircraft um okay we'll hit these bombers too I mean, assuming we get rid of these fighters, they're just sitting ducks. They're just going to be sitting there. So we'll do that. We'll crank that down to just high. Okay. What about lapel? I think we hit these. Well, let's go to the map. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's do that. Okay. Can we see any green air bases? Well, I had talked about Gomel. It's got 48 fighters. Maybe we will. We'll send something out to Gomel. We've got we should have a lot of miles. We should have plenty of miles since we're only running two missions to each one. Um, I mean in the old game it just seemed like you could go on forever. I don't think we're gonna go all the way out here, are we? No. I'm not gonna do that. I mean I could, but I'm not going to. I say as I look at Gomel, uh, maybe I should. I don't. Th I don't even know. How, you know what? Let's get back here, and we'll turn on our units again. Let's see what our range is with our. I don't know. KG three. Let's put the range circles on. Okay. Now we know. All right. So we're getting out to almost Kiev. We'll leave that to Luftflotte four. We could not get there. We could get to Gomel, though. I think that's fair game. Um, 41 bombers, but I think we have something there, right? No, we don't. Okay. We should hit these. Or am I just on Luflata? Yeah, I'm just on Luflata 2. We hit them with the Luflata 1. Okay, so the only other one I'm going to do is Gomel. All right, executive decision made. 
Luflata 2, ground attack, and off we fly to Gomel, if I can find it again. I'm completely disoriented on this map, I have to be honest. Um, whoops, ground attack, there we go. Gomel. Oh, they're going to fly that out of... No, that's from KG3. Okay. It's because this map is reoriented. It just throws me off. Um, I say that. Or maybe it's just because I'm not very bright. It could be that as well. It could be that as well. Uh, Gomel, very high. All right. That is good, I believe, for that portion of things. Now we're going to do a ground attack, just general ground attack, starting just south of Conus here. All right, we'll just, uh, we'll do it centered there. This will be on days three, five, and seven. We're going to run our recon on day two. Um, we're going to interdict we're going to hit units and we'll clear up any leftovers at the airfields. And I think we'll just do a five. You see we get full escort, or we're supposed to. Let's put it that way. Uh, this gets most everything in there. Okay, now that's true tactical bombing. Uh, confirm. We'll lay down an interdiction zone. Okay, now we need to get these next ones right here. And for that, we'll just put it here. Ground attack. Um, airfield 2. Unit and interdiction. Let's get off that. Let's do days 3, 5, and 7. And we'll do area 5. Intensity is medium. It's like 28 missions. Does that make sense? <clears throat> Why don't we do intensity high? Why not? It's first week of the war. Let's let's interdict everything we can. Uh, we'll do intensity high in the center. That gives us 60 missions in the center. We'll put down a lot of interdiction markers. They're going to be trying to get out of here. Uh, although if I'm going to put one on high, maybe I should do the one a little further north because they actually do retreat. Uh, the intensity was high. Hey, okay. Uh, and then we'll do one right down here too. So we'll do a ground attack. I don't care. We'll do it right there. Oh, I do want seven on, not six, five, three. It's the final countdown. Um, two. That was a little band called Europe from my from my youth, the final countdown. Uh, actually, I want these to be on high priority, not very high. Or actually, how about normal? Uh, we'll keep the intensity high, but I think they can be on normal. So that way we're prioritizing day one. I mean, does the game really work that way? I don't know, but I'm going to make believe that it does because I feel like it should. Um, that looks good to me. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's confirm that. Let's go back to these and we'll just make these normal. I just want to make the, sure the game doesn't hold anything back on day one because it wants to run these missions on like day three. I don't know why it would do that, really, but I can make enough of a case for it in my head that I'm a little worried about it. Okay, so that's fine. Now then, let's do our recon. Um, we're reconning. I'm sorry, I don't mean to sing. My my wife will tell you that that's a no no bueno. <laughs> that's no good. Uh, recon. Yep, let's clear it. And we're only gonna run recon up here, really, where we can get some kind of support. Um, <clears throat> it's gonna be a true tactical recon. So we'll just start it right there. We'll do I don't know a seven. Does that work? Sure. We're getting recon out here, or we're getting a uh, escort out here. That's what I meant. If I said recon, I meant escort. Um, I'm only going to run up where we can get some escort. So we'll do it on day two, day four, and day six, and we run our tactical. Uh, this looks a little big to me. Why don't we take that down a notch and up a notch? There we go. Okay. That looks fine. 
we'll do some real tack recon out here and we'll do one more uh just like that i wish you could almost do like a copy maybe you can i don't know uh and just move the box down here and hit paste uh because i think this is going to be exactly the same uh we'll just do it out here oh i should turn these down to like normal um what's the intensity low okay I, now we'll i'll make it normal intensity medium medium that's the word i was looking for oh we're getting a little out of range there so for our escorts so let's just draw that back just a little bit we'll move it over here and we'll get some tack recon happening out here on days two four and six okay so we've got our specific bombing of airfields in we've got recon here in the center uh before we ever move ground units i honestly should probably recon this little area up here oh i better confirm that eh um ah you know what we know what's up here uh so we're gonna recon this we're gonna recon you know up here hey why don't we go to the map it will show us what we're going to do. Okay, so we've got ground attack here. Ground attack, we got all of our individual ground attacks. We've got ground attack, the big overall one for Luflot 2 here and here. Uh, the recon goes a little further north and a little further south, right? Uh, the recon does. That all looks good to me, though. I mean, we're hitting, I think... I mean, we could try to get to these. Um, Luflata 1 is going to hit these. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Let's, um, whoops. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we got them all. We got Luflata 1. I just had to, like, double click on that. Um, right. So we could try to get up here, but let's not get stupid. Um, we've got all this. We've got all this. That all looks fine. <clears throat> I'm looking for green air bases because they sit over the top of the ones that they're going to bomb specifically. Did we hit this one? I, I know we did. It's got to be this one, right? It's because this box is so close that it's not sitting on top of it because that's got a lot of fighters. Okay. So you can kind of see what I'm doing here, right? I'm hitting every single airfield within reason that's got planes on it uh, specifically. If it's fighters, I'm doing it at very high. If it's bombers, only on high. Uh, that's on day one. On day two, then, we're going to run out recon aircraft and say, what the hell is left? What carnage have we wrought, gentlemen? Um, and we're going to do that on days two, four, and six. Then I'm going to do TAC recon, and they're all going to have escorts. Actually, this one I need to move back a little bit, right? You can just see a little purple here. Uh, so I'll remember to move that, that recon, this one right here. I'll move that back just a little bit. So on 246, we're reconning out here, seeing what's smoking, what isn't. Then we run the bombers out again on 3, 5, and 7 to do interdiction, to hit units, get it ready for the ground forces, and also clean up any airfields if there's something left. Make sense? Woo! Man! I ought to be a politician! <laughs> I just yap, yap, yap! Uh, okay. I'm going to leave this here for this time. We've moved through Luftflotte 2. Tomorrow, when we come back, I promise you we're going to resolve all of this. So I'm going to do Luftflotte 4, and I'm going to do Romanian and Hungarian High Command. And I'm going to set those mad Hungarians loose like wild Tasmanian devils on the Ukrainian prairie. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. I'm a little punch drunk right now. I guess that one sip of wine I had got me going crazy. Um, but when we come back tomorrow, we're going to do Luflata 4. We're going to resolve all of this and see what happens. I'm going to slow it down, so we're going to take our time and watch uh, it all resolve. And then we'll kind of do an after-action report and say, wait a minute, um, you know, this didn't work, or this didn't work the way I expected it to or I intended it to. 
And who knows? Maybe we'll make an air war part two and say, can I get 10 more Soviet planes? Not that it matters that much. These are all old, obsolete planes that aren't going to, you know, you're going to shoot them down anyway when they try to interdict your ground forces. So it's just fun. It's a good way to learn how to set up the air war. So anyway, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm enjoying it, uh, you know, so I guess I, I'd be doing this anyway. Uh, I might as well broadcast it and, you know, get nuts uh, on air. Uh, anyway, thank you guys. I do appreciate it. I will be back with a Let's Play uh, tonight of our, you know, War in the East 2 Let's Play. I'm going to take about 20 or 30 minutes. I'm going to check with the little lady. I'll see, you know, if she's going to yell at me if we don't walk somewhere. She's trying to keep me heart, heart healthy because it's hard running the Luftwaffe, let me tell you. Uh, anyway, uh, but I'll, I will be back tonight with that live stream. I'm just not sure exactly what time. Normally, I'm going to try to do these now at 2, 3, and 4 Pacific Standard Time. Uh, so anyway, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll talk to you next time. Strategy Gaming Dojo out.